But, but David, here's this clip of Zbigny Brzezinski. Okay. Much more complicated. The other major change in international affairs is that for the first time in all of human history, mankind is politically awakened. That's a total new reality. Total new reality. It has not been so for most of human history until the last 100 years. And in the course of the last 100 years, the whole world has become politically awakened. And no matter where you go, politics is a matter of social engagement. And most people know what is generally going on, generally going on in the world, and are consciously aware of global iniquities, inequalities, lack of respect, exploitation. Mankind is now politically awakened and stirring. The combination of the two, a diversified global leadership, politically awakened masses, makes a much more difficult context for any major power, including currently the leading world power, the United States. Okay, then they go into questions and answers and talk about New World Order and their world government, and he says they're in trouble. So he says, mankind, for the first time in history, and I agree with him, is awake and staring. That was said four months ago, awake and staring. We are now looking past their puppet politicians, past their repeater uh, news media, that, like a tree of parrots or a tree yeah. of monkeys. We are now looking at them. They can feel our will. They can feel our spirit. They can feel our life force that loves goodness and wholesomeness against their maggot-filled lust for death and destruction. The psychopathic control guild knows that we are awake and staring. David Icke. Yeah, and what they're also uh, aware of and terrified of is, is they can feel our awareness. They can see our awareness. Because humanity has been kept in servitude for as long as human history uh, can be recorded, uh, uh, to this point anyway, um, by the suppression of awareness. Uh, people call it ignorance, but it's not just... And notice he said for the first time in history, they yeah. know, they yeah. know. He's yeah. confirming everything you've said. Yes, exactly. I mean, th we have been through an epoch of suppression, an epoch of suppressed awareness, and a suppressed awareness is, is what is necessary if the few are going to control the many. The few cannot control an open-minded, conscious, sharp-thinking, aware uh, population. They can't. So they, they work to do the opposite, to keep us in this state of, of ignorance, multi-multi-level ignorance, even about the nature of reality and who we actually are, which is not the body. It's consciousness. It's awareness. But it's suppressing that awareness, suppressing that memory. Yeah, we don't know we that, 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 that we are all incredible creatures made by the creator of the universe. And if people realize that, they're like, get out of my way, you little roach Rockefeller. They know all these secrets and they used it to enslave instead of empowering. Exactly. And, and so what's happening, as, as what I've been talking about this last 20 years, about these, these truth vibrations, this energetic change, this, this, this epoch change, which is teasing open the suppressed, uh, locked, coma stated human mind. Um, that's what they're terrified of for a very simple reason. They have been able to control thus far because human consciousness has been asleep. They cannot control humanity when humanity is awake and we're awakening. And what they're trying to do, Alex, with all their food additives and drink additives, the electromagnetic pollution, uh, the, the, the generation of fear through all these various uh, things they're doing with the economy and fake alien things and, and, and all the rest of it. Stage terror. Yeah, stage terror, all the rest of it. What they're doing is trying to, um, in, in multi-levels, whether it's the chemical level, the, 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 the electrical level, the energetic level, the vibrational level, the emotional level, the mental level, to suppress this awakening. They're fighting the awakening. That's what they're doing with all this stuff. Yes, yeah. and, 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 and here's an analogy. You and I speak imperial, uh, 
language. I mean, English is the global empire language. It's the most powerful core of the empire. It is now the world language. We speak English, so you and I are able to interface, use words that connect to images in our minds right. and, and interface in a beautiful way. But Chinese, Japanese, Mexicans, uh, people speaking Italian, Deutsch, they aren't able to interface with us. And, and, and it's the very same thing. You talk about information, you know, cutting down the information, reducing, putting yeah. blinders on. It's just like language. Do you speak awakening? Do you speak liberty? Do you speak power of human potential? Do you speak truth? And, and that's that universal language that connects us all. And it's just like I can speak English, you can speak English. Well, we are now globally speaking the language of love and truth and honor and productivity and everything wholesome and decent. The globalists are afraid of that energy because if they don't suppress it and dominate it, we will be self-sufficient, powerful, sharp creatures that would throw them off you know, incredibly easily. You know, we're a thousand feet tall. They're a little bug and they know that uh d d david i want to play this bug's life but 60 second response to that okay uh, well uh, what i would say is um i i'm getting invitations now to more and more new countries that don't speak english uh, and i'm doing simultaneous translated uh, presentations and th but there is a level there is a level of awareness that is beyond language where you connect with people even if you can't communicate through through words i feel that all the way around the world when i go to these places but you know what we're talking about here is explains um why at the very same time that this awakening is happening it's exactly the same time that the control system is throwing everything at us this is not a paradox this is not a coincidence it's this is not the takeover trying to suppress the awakening because they if i can know for 20 years that this is coming then how long have they known it's coming and they've been preparing for it they're trying to keep the lid on and batten down the hatches of something that they know is going to bring the house of cards down and and and, and they're whistling in the dark and this is why they're becoming more desperate it's because they realize that no no matter what they're throwing at us, more and more people are waking up. They're, they're going to run out of fingers to stick in the dike as the leaks spring. Now that's this what I was going to say. Time, a wonderful time to live through. Very challenging, but this lot's coming down. Yes, everyone alive. It's a great honor to be alive at this point in time. And, and exactly, this is not their takeover. This is their attempt to suppress a literal prophesied insurrection against dehumanization. They are scared, and you can see it, David. They are trying to hold on to the power they have had through this epoch. But because humanity is waking up, they're having to become more and more blatant in their desperation because they're having to up the ante to keep us in the same state. And this is why um, uh, it's coming to the surface. It's because they, 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 they're having to throw more and more things at us, more and more fingers in the dike, and so it becomes more and more obvious what they're doing, and that is a spiral in itself, because the more obvious it becomes what they're doing, the more people see it and start to awaken, and so um, you know, they, these people are in desperate, desperate trouble. But because they're going to throw everything at us, the next few years are going to be very challenging. But this is coming down. And well, well, there's down. a... And you know, they, they're starting to know it. Exactly. That's why they're bailing out and building armored fortresses in the you know, middle of nowhere uh, in the Cook Islands. But, but uh, here's the danger. Yes, they're moving with their total takeover plan to block us. We know that. They admit that. You just heard Brzezinski for listeners. Yes, that's going on. But if... If people don't give their maximum effort, this could this could go on for a lot longer. And they are counting on intimidating people and battering them down to shut up and go along. Uh, but we have to really stand up and say, no, we see you for what you are.